Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at Ryu Soul Set 03 from Kishiryu Sentai Ryu Soldier. This gives us three new souls. We have the Mie Soul, which increases someone's eyesight. We have the Mabush Soul, which uh, gives you a flash of light. And then we have the Kakure Soul, which turns you invisible. So that's always fun. Uh, but front of the packaging, pretty basic. Just shows uh, Ryu Soul Red over here with the Mie Soul equipped. Uh, on this side, you get a little picture of the, let me remember the name, Mabush Soul. And then over here, we have the Kakure Soul on that side. Nothing going on on the bottom. Not really much going on the top. Just kind of a cool group shot there. And, uh, yeah. Just showing you how you can pop them in the mecha if you want. I'm not going to show that off because it's literally just sliding in and out heads. But we'll definitely check them out in the changer and the sword. So I'm going to go ahead and get these guys out of the packaging here and we'll take a closer look. So here we have the three souls out of the packaging. Here is the Mie soul. I like how he has a giant uh, magnifying glass there in his hand instead of a sword. I think that's a nice touch. Sticker on the front looks pretty good. B039. And then we go ahead and close it up. There is the dino head. Spring it open. And these are all going to have that same generic knight head on the back. Next up we have the Mabush Soul. He's got a giant flashlight, which I think is very cool. I love when they give him different things besides swords. I think that's pretty cool. And then on the back here, B033. Close that up. I like the little teeth. I think that's a nice touch. So pretty cool there. And then we have the Kakure Soul. You can see his sword is kind of a dotted line because it's becoming invisible, so that's kind of cool. B044. Nice green color there, I like that. So very cool. Yeah, all three of these souls, very neat, very colorful, which I always find fun. And I like what they have going on for the designs in their swords, very specific to their powers, which is always very neat. I mean, they always are, but these ones in particular I find very cool. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll bring in the changer first. Now, I'll be honest, I don't anticipate much in the way of sounds for the changers. That's not how this has been working, but we'll see how it goes. So, pretty generics there. There we go. Next one. So, same thing. I understand that they're not going to have a ton of sounds in here, but even if it just said their names, that would be enough for me. So, all three make the same generic sound. Not very exciting. I mean, it really makes the changer kind of a bummer for this uh, this series. Really not that exciting at all. Uh, I wish... It reminds me of, like, when the Kutama would just say Kutama. And that's... I mean, all it says is Ryusol, and that's it. So that's... I don't know. It's just, I just wish... If it, you know, it just said their names, that's all I would ask. Like, if it just said the name of the soul and then said EK Soul every time for the, like... After you hit the button, I would get that. Or even if it just made the same uh sound when you changed but then when you hit the button it said the name of the soul just something i mean it's obviously reading these because it knows it's not one of the transformation ones so i feel like if you have to make it read it anyway you could just put in the name of the soul i don't know i don't know how storage for sounds works but i wish it did a little bit more but let's go ahead and try these out in the sword where we'll definitely get some cool sounds first one <laughs> so I think that sound it makes is weird. But it is the same that it makes in the show. So 
there you go, that's equipped. At this point, Same sounds there. So you get the same sound effect there. Moving on to the next. And the last one. <laughs> so I like the sound effects for this one. And there you have it. Another fun soul pack. I definitely really like this one because of the designs of the three souls. I like what they have going for their swords and the colors are very fun. With these DX packs, or I should say normal retail release packs because technically they're not labeled DX, they're easy to get a hold of. They're usually pretty cheap. I think these are like $7 a piece before shipping for a set of three. So I always recommend picking them up. They're a lot of fun, very fun to collect, easy to get a hold of, and relatively cheap. Uh, so yeah, I definitely recommend picking this one up. If you have a chance, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.